Hey students, this is your hints video on lesson 7.3 on triangles. So first you have several problems where um, you're just classifying the triangle. So you're looking at all of these different descriptions, you're figuring out which description um, fits most accurately. So as we look at this one, we can see it has a 90 degree angle. So that makes it a right angle. It's not obtuse, it's not equilateral, it's not acute, it's a right angle. And our other two angles are both congruent, so that makes it isosceles, so this is a right isosceles triangle. All right, next you have several problems where you have a description of a triangle and you want to decide if you could create one triangle that fits this description, many triangles, or no triangles. So use the drop-down menus to help you on these. But um, this first one, number 21, we have 50 degrees, 70 degrees, and 110 degrees, or 100 degrees. And we know that the three angle measurements have to add up to 180. And when we add these up, we get 220. So you could create no triangles with the given description because um, if I look at the different choices here, it says the angle measurements don't add up to 180. So you're gonna choose that from the drop down menu. All right, and then the last one here is number 27. First, you're gonna find the value of X for each triangle. So um, for the green triangle, we're gonna add up X plus 65 plus 50 equals 180. We'll simplify that. X plus 115 equals 180. We'll subtract 115 and we get X equals 65. Okay, so that's for the green triangle. For the purple triangle, we're gonna have 130 plus 25 plus X equals 180. We get 100 55 plus X equals 180. We'll subtract 155 from each side and we get X equals 25. And last but not least for the red triangle, we have 90 plus 45 plus X equals 180. That's 135 plus X equals 180. We'll subtract 135 from each side, and we get X equals 45. So we're gonna put those values in here, but then it asks us what we notice. So we notice that the angles that are opposite to the congruent side, so here's these two sides are congruent, and the angles that are opposite to each of those, so this angle and this angle, um, are going to be congruent. So we have the 65 degree angle and another 65 degree angle. Here we have this side opposite this angle. Let me use a different color on this one. And then we have this side opposite this angle, and those are all congruent. So that's what we notice about isosceles triangles. So an isosceles triangle has at least two angles that are congruent. Uh, sometimes that definition is a little bit tricky because a lot of people think of um, an equilateral triangle as separate from an isosceles triangle. Technically, an equilateral triangle is an isosceles triangle. It's just a special kind that happens to have all three angles that are congruent.